Hello, hello, long time no see. Or I guess you could say long time no seed. <laughs> so many books to read, a whole life ahead of me. Today, speaking of seeds, we're planting some and getting some gardening on. So first things first, let's gather our supplies. The most important thing that you're gonna need that is non-negotiable is a milk container or water container, just a plastic container. You can do a half gallon or you can do a gallon. You need a push pin just to make some drainage holes in the bottom. You're gonna need some Sharpies to draw and write the name of the plants. Some scissors to cut the container. Some duct tape to seal it once we're done. An X-Acto knife is optional, you can just use scissors. And let's get into it. Step one is to cut the shape, but in order to do that, we first want to get drainage holes. So I guess step one is actually to poke some holes for drainage in the bottom. And you want to make sure you have a cap. You need a cap for this. If you don't have the cap, use a different bottle or just don't use it at all. So I like to do at least two holes. It's not super important that it has drainage, but just a little bit. And then you're going to want to write the name of the plant and the date you're planting it. This is crucial, I've noticed for myself. If I don't label it, I have no idea what it is. If it dies, I don't know what I need to replant. It's just a mess. So now is the tricky part that I want to make sure you get. So I'm drawing a little line here to show you what I want you to do. You're going to cut where the line is. So you're going to want to create a handle. You don't cut all the way around the bottle. You save room for a handle. And now you can kind of see where we're going with this. We're going to fill it up with dirt and then duct tape it. Here we are outside, I've already got my potting soil mixture together, and you're going to fill it up about to the top, it doesn't really matter the height, um, all that's important here is that you have enough room for the seeds to germinate, like it's, it's deep enough for there to develop good roots, because they're going to be in here for a while, especially if you have another frost coming. So I'm planting some jalapenos in this container, and you're going to plant the seeds, water them, and make sure to get make sure to get the seed depth that the package asks for, if it's a surface sow, just drop them on the surface, if it's you know a quarter of an inch, poke tiny holes and cover it with more dirt, and then drizzle a little bit of water on there, duct tape it up, and you're good to go. And look at this finished product. It looks great. You got the lid. After you water it the first time, you don't have to water it for the next day, but when you do go to rewater it, you just take the cap off and water it as you go. Here's the next little planting trick. I have some blooming cans that I eat canned goods, because they're cheap and I'm cheap, and seeds are cheap, and everything's cheap. And I drill a small hole in the bottom of them, so put a little rock to cover that main hole, but just, I'm, I'm the queen of drainage, I love drainage, if I, I don't want to risk overwatering a plant, which I might do, but if I have drainage, that's not as much of a risk. So my potting soil mixture is peat moss, a little bit of coffee grounds, potting soil, and sand. And I'm going to just keep these in here until they get about four or five inches tall, if they do grow. I, I haven't done it this way in a while, but it's working so far for the things I have already planted this year. Again, once you're done putting all the seeds in, however the seed depth it requires, just water them. And that, my guys, is it. Mama always told me it would be alright.